Depending on your case, you may need to employ the use of a Phillips head screwdriver for this, but the case I'm using here uses thumb screws for everything, which can be removed by hand. Okay, so first you'll need to unplug everything from the back of your computer and then lay it down on a table or even on the floor uh, with the left side panel facing up. You'll then want to remove your case's side panel. A very common way side panels are attached is by using thumb screws like these that are mounted on the back of the case. You simply unscrew them and then you can slide your side panel off. The case I'm using for this tutorial has an acrylic full side panel window which is removed by unscrewing these four thumb screws here. At this point in the video, I should advise you to make sure that you're grounded out and that your body isn't all charged up with static electricity and stuff because an electrostatic discharge can damage your computer hardware. This is a bit less of a concern, however, with modern hardware, thanks to safety features now built into them. And uh, it's also evidenced in this video that is popping up in the cards right now from Jay's Two Cents. But at the same time, it's always smart to be safe rather than sorry. Most cases are made out of metal, so you can ground yourself simply by touching the case and that should really do the trick. If your system currently has a graphics card installed, you'll of course want to remove that one. To remove your existing graphics card, you'll need to first unscrew it from the case like so. Next, you'll need to remove any PCI Express power connectors that may be plugged into it. And finally, in order to remove the card, you'll need to unlock the latch, which is hiding down here under the card. In my time building computers, I've encountered two different types of latches. The ones I've seen most commonly are hinged like this. You just press them down like so to release them. The other type is more of a tab like this. To release it, you have to push the tab to the side and then pull your card out. Your graphics card should pull out fairly easily, so if you're having a hard time getting it out, first make sure the latch is fully released and then look to see if your card is hanging up on one of the expansion slot covers or something on the back. If your computer does not have an existing graphics card installed, you'll need to remove the expansion slot covers on the back of your computer that correspond with the PCI Express slot you will be slotting your new card into. Typically, this is the top PCI Express slot. A good way to find out which covers to remove is to hold your new card in place and see which covers are in your way. Once you've removed your old card, you are ready to slot in your new one. Uh, make sure the latch is in the open position, then line up the pins of the card with the slot on the motherboard, and also make sure the metal fingers on the I.O. plate you see here fit into the slots just past the edge of the motherboard right here, and then firmly press the card down into the slot until it fully seats and the latch locks into place. You can then screw your card into place using the screws that you took out of your old graphics card or the, those screws that you removed when you removed the expansion slot covers. If the card you're installing requires additional PCI Express power, then you'll need to locate the appropriate power cables from your power supply and then insert them into the plugs on your graphics card. Just so you know, if your card has these on them, and you don't plug in the PCI Express power connectors, your new graphics card will not work. Before you go and put your side panel back on, you're gonna want to hook everything back up to your computer, do a test boot, and make sure it's working properly. It's pretty annoying to get your PC all put back together and then find out you forgot to hook up the PCI Express power or something else, and then have to open the whole flipping thing back up again. Or so I've been told. A small piece of additional advice is to make sure to hook up your monitor to the video out on your graphics card and not the video out on your motherboard. Once your computer boots up and you see that everything is working properly, you can go ahead 
put your side panel back on, and then download and install your GPU drivers. If you feel like you might need a little bit of help downloading and installing drivers, I do have a video that I am linking in the cards right up here that you can check out that will help you through that. Well, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it has been informative and has armed you with the knowledge and confidence needed to upgrade your very first graphics card all by yourself. Uh, please hit the like button on your way out if you found this video helpful. Uh, share it with your friends and also uh, consider subscribing to my channel. <laughs> if you have a question for me, hit me up in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you there. I've had a really good time hanging out with you here today. I hope you have a terrific rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. Later.